go for a bit of a walk through the food area here at uh, Bali Domestic Terminal. It's quite impressive actually, uh, which is not surprising though. I mean, Indonesia has a population of 110 million people. Um, Bali Airport's the second busiest airport in Indonesia. Uh, last year it handled uh, over 23 million passengers, so it certainly has a high traffic load. I assume most of them are international though, um, you know, arriving into Bali from countries like Australia where it's highly popular. Let's go and have a look, see what's over here. Departure gates. We got on the runway, Garuda Indonesia, CityLink, Lion Air. Got some lovely looking Indonesian ladies over here, all dressed up. Looking very special. Some more of the restaurants. So There's actually quite a lot of uh, food places to eat in here, more than what we thought. We only looked around the corner there. Um, so I've come a little bit further down the terminal to have a look. Uh, Guardian Pharmacy, I see Coco Mart at the end, so that's generally a little supermarket that you'll find in Indonesia. We've got good food absolutely over here. So it looks fairly upmarket, a bit of beer. But here the Coco Market has books, food, drinks, all things you would need to take on your flights with you but then again if you're flying domestically in Indonesia I'm not quite sure how long your flights would be um, hours from here to Yogyakarta is about one hour and 45 minutes so it's not that long at all um, that's the end here actually so the gates let's go back and have a look at the other end I think there's only about six departure gates in here though, so... So we've got Windsor Smith over here, so books. Um, apparently a French bakery. I didn't try it, but... I'm not quite sure the French bakery stretches to Indonesia. Authentically anyway, so... We'll see. We've got a warung. It's not as cheap as the normal warung, so we're reading at some of the warungs in Bali. For under $18 for all of us. ATMs, Pizza Hut, Starbucks around the corner there, Quicksilver, so plenty of uh, plenty of big known international brands floating around the terminal too, that's for sure. Seems to be mainly Lion Air, Air Asia maybe. I haven't seen Air Asia arrive yet though, so I assume they'll come in shortly. Change the plane around pretty quickly. We'll jump on and head to Yogya. So up this way, there's toilets, uh, prayer room for Muslim people who are religious, and smoking room. Smoking rooms you see quite a lot of in Asian and European airports since they. A lot of smoking goes on compared to Australia where you can't smoke anywhere. You can hardly smoke outside the airport, let alone inside the airport. So, the Bali banana. This is a little bit different. I've never seen this when we were out in the streets, but let's go and have a look anyway. So, fish skin, salted egg yolk. Sounds Mighty interesting, not really interesting to me though, but so we've got banana chips. Banana something around there. Peanuts. Almonds. So all banana flavoured I'm guessing. 
Bali with Okay, so I've reached the end of the terminal. Toilets, prayer room, just a lot of seating. Let's go back and see if we can catch a plane landing or taking off. Coco Mart again up this way. So what we've got here, we've got a barbecue boring, so I'd say that's a duck, duck restaurant. The young duck, because we visited a few barbie ghoulings when we were here and it was a uh, young pig, so people lining up for departure. Bit of nice art up there on the roof. well and travel often. My family travel certainly subscribes to that theory. Let's go and see if we can find the rest of the crew. Okay back to where we started from so that's about the extent of the terminal.